Hey, Sam here. So, I got some spectacles, and they're pretty cool. Play with them for a bit, so I want to give you a proper review. Just for Snapchat. Doesn't even say made. Pretty cool. Uh, looks like it's just for iPhone. Huh. I did not know that. So, it's like a tennis ball type container, and the case feels awesome. It's like really hard foam, I guess. It's like real soft and squishy, but also pretty hard. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's got the snap little tag here. So we can open it up, and there they are. And they're magnetic, which is pretty neat. A lot of magnets in this product, which I like. Um, I think this is the battery indicator. It keeps flashing. I'm not totally sure. And I think there's the same on the side here with the button. But, no way of knowing. This is magnetic right here. That's the charging port, and then this is also magnetic, this holds the other side. And then we have a matching charging port right there. So here's the inside, there's the charging port, and there's, now it's just a magnet. And if we open them up, you can see it's on this side it says spectacles, and over here it says made by Snap Ink, it's kinda hard to see though. And then on the inside, this is a really neat feature. Kind of hard to see though. Right there, there's a little white dot. You can see that. That is a light that's on while you're recording. So you know you're recording, which is pretty neat. So, so they look. I think they look dumb on me because I'm not a, I don't have a cool guy face. I need some cool guy glasses. Um, yeah, so there's a button on top. It's, you can't see it while you're looking at me, and it's even hard to see here. Um, you push that, and it'll, it'll shoot for 10 seconds and it'll stop automatically. If you push it again while it's recording, while you can see that light, it'll extend it another 10 seconds. If you press and hold, it turns off. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna shoot a quick little video with the spectacles, uh, and you can see this video and this video at the same time, so you can kind of compare. And then I'll show you how to get it on my phone, and then how to save it to my camera roll so I can do something with it. So, here we go. It also, damn it, Tom. It's now recording. It lights up. Kind of a bummer. I'm gonna eat a chip. So here's from my point of view, and here's the camera. That flashes when it's almost done. Do it. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna eat a chip. All right. That's that. No flash when it's almost done. Then it's done. So it automatically imports um, when you shoot over Bluetooth, and you'll get a notification on your phone, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to really think about it, it just always saves, which is nice. And you can just tap your little spectacles icon down here, and you can see here's my videos from my specs, kind of neat. And I can just tap here and see them, and as you rotate the phone, you can see it stays still, which is super cool. It looks amazing. Um, it's like a really great experience. You can swipe up to edit, and you can swipe through all your clips. And here's the one I just did. So I can uh, save it, but I'm not going to yet, because it doesn't have HD up here. You can see this one has HD in the top left. You have to do HD separate. It doesn't do it automatically, and that's kind of a bummer. So, so let's download the HD video. Easy enough. You can just hit Get HD here in the top right, and it'll uh, take a minute. It has to turn on the Wi-Fi for your specs, so it only does um, HD over Wi-Fi, which is kind of a pain. So you have to like go to Settings and go to Wi-Fi and go to your glasses net. My sunglasses have a Wi-Fi network. It's crazy. 
I like how they use the emoji, so it goes to the top. Very nice touch. So go back to Snapchat. It'll do its thing. It takes about 10 seconds per clip, which is, you know, you shoot a couple things, it's kind of a long time to wait. But whatever. And now it's done. So if I want to share this to my um, story, I can just go to it, hit the share button, hit my story, and share. So I don't know if I'll continue to wear these. Uh, I feel like in Kentucky it's kind of okay. And in San Francisco I'd feel like a jerk wearing them. It's just, I don't know. It's a weird, weird thing. No one's going to have them here. No one's going to know what they are. I feel like in San Francisco it's like, look at me, I'm cool with spectacles. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Sophus on Snapchat if you want to watch my messing around with these. I'm going to do some woodworking in these, maybe ride with a motorcycle. I'm excited to like try them out in weird situations where normally a camera would be annoying. So, I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching.